Welcome to this session. Up to now, all of our sessions have been focusing on the lessons I have learned as I have healed myself of some pretty major problems. Heart disease, diabetes, senility, problems that were very obvious in my life and in fact uh, are no longer. I also helped my wife and some friends in the process. However, that's all in the past. And one good question might be, well, what about the present? So here is an issue that is appearing in the present for me and my wife. And I thought I would bring it up and tell you what, I, what our reactions are now. The problem is, as we see it, glaucoma. Uh, and it's my wife's issue. Here are some symptoms. These are all hers. Primarily her left eye. When she wakes up in the morning, there is stuff coming out of the eye. Crystals. She's just got it. Started a little bit, but it's and getting worse over the past couple of months. It's clearly getting worse. Second, there are times when her eye just starts to water. She's not crying. These, Lord, Lord knows what it is. It especially happens at certain places in the grocery store. Maybe they're using some sort of disinfectant she's allergic to. But anyway, liquid comes out of her eye. That stuff's minor, really, but it's there. She is noticing eye strain just within the past couple of weeks, or last week, uh, that she's never had before. When reading in a book, now she would say, well, that's very small print. Never had a problem before. Uh, when she does our finances on the computer, having a lot, really hard time seeing started making mistakes with the numbers because of it. I ended up giving her a larger font and it helped. So this is a, a significant difficulty in seeing. And more recently, about a week ago, she said, Richard, I'm really feeling pain in this left eye. We went to a blue book, I'm looking at it right now on my shelf, Prescription for Nutritional Healing, an MD wrote this book with others, and we love it, we trust it, and it says glaucoma, and Ellie's body agrees it's glaucoma. Glaucoma is simply a blockage, so that the liquids in the, in the eye cannot drain, and the pressure in the eye builds up which is certainly consistent with our observations of the stuff coming out of it. As a result, the pressure inside the eye gets greater, and this produces damage to the retina. And our friend the book says, the damage to the retina is irreversible. Once done, it's over, folks. In other words, Ellie's problems with eye strain are supposed to remain with her the rest of her life. Well, I've heard about a lot of problems that are supposed to be with me for the rest of my life, like my heart disease and my diabetes, and let's just say we'll see. Okay. First questions that come up have to do with nutrition. This is always true. If the body isn't getting the right food, for sure, it can't heal. So, vitamins. What's interesting is that approximately at the same time the symptoms got really bad, suddenly Ellie was making rather angry sounding statements that vitamin D, vitamin A, and niacin were bad for her interesting. When she told me about it, I completely disagreed. 
and we talked about it. Ellie is, just like the rest of us, a community of 50 trillion cells. Parts of her community are things that we consider parasites, and I guess it's not too surprising that when one of them sees a threat to its well-being, it will attempt to inject opinions, especially if they come out in a kind of angry voice that are for its welfare and not necessarily for the welfare of everybody else in Ellie's body. I listened for that angry voice and I heard it. We discussed it and she decided afterwards that in fact she needed every one of those. Suggestion. If you have a physical problem, chronic and there's an angry voice saying certain things are not allowed, find a friend who cares for you and whom you trust and ask for their advice. We all need people like that. There are times for when every one of us is going to, that angry voice is going to show up. Remember, we're all human. But having somebody we can ask is so important. Okay. Done deal. What about now? I made some symbols for her. She looked at them. We brought out the old frequency generator and put that on the computer. And she's now off to visit some friends in New York State. Before she left, I asked, how about the eye strain? She said, she's not having trouble reading. This morning when she woke up, there was no crystals or anything on, under her eyes. The draining has gone, and the pain has gone also. She believes that the glaucoma is no longer there, that the blockage is, if not totally gone, largely so true? Let's just say I'm hopeful. For a problem that has taken maybe 10 years to build up, it's hard to believe that the whole thing could disappear within the space of a week. But uh, especially if uh, it's irreversible. We shall see. I'll let you know. Thanks for being with me. We'll talk again. Bye now.